Hello. Today, I will be demonstrating the disinfecting procedures for immersible implements. What you will need is two shoebox type containers, one for um, washing your implements, one for disinfecting your implements. You will also need liquid soap, barbicide, a measuring cup, gloves, small brush for removing dirt and debris from your implements. You need the paper towels, clean dry towels, your dirty implements. You will also need a container to put your clean implements in once you've um, disinfected them. All right. All salon professionals and cosmetology schools are required by the North Carolina State Board of Cosmetic Arts to follow these procedures. The disinfectant process are done at the end of each workday. In a salon setting, there should be a dispensary area where you can disinfect your implements. It is important to disinfect your implements to prevent the spread of diseases and disorders such as dandruff and ringworm. Right. If you're ready, let's get started. So, we have our dirty implements container here. Get our dirty implements out. All right. We're going to come into the dispensary area here. We're going to locate all of our cleaning solutions. And then we want to read all of the directions. On the back, you can find the directions or on the sides of the bottle. Your directions tells you how to mix it and how long you should submerge your implements in the solution. All right. So now we're going to wash our implements. You're going to take the first basin and we're going to put about two cups of water. All right. So let's get our water. All right, so we have our two cups of water. Put that there. Turn off our water with your soap. Put about two squirts of soap. Before you put your implements in or touch the solution, you're going to put your gloves on. Put my gloves here. All right, get your implements out of your container. Squish the water around a little bit. Put the dirty implements in, making sure that they are completely Submerge. All right. Once your implements are in there, you get your small brush with your implements and you go in and you brush away any dirt and debris that may be on your implements. As so. All right. Once you have cleaned all of your implements to your satisfaction, all right, you want to take the bowl over to the sink again where you would take and you would rinse your brush you would take your cones out set the basin to the side you want to rinse your implements okay turn the water off with a clean paper towel you're going to dry them all right you will lay them down on your SMAs there. You get ready for your disinfection solution. All right. For this, you need to mix two ounces of barbicide. This bottle is actually two ounces, but I will pour it in here to measure out our two ounces. Get your measuring cup here. You want to go up to the two ounce line. All right. So we have our two ounces. Put that in your container there. 
And to this, there is 32 ounces of water. This is a 32 ounce container. Makes it easier for you, you don't have to think about it. So you fill that up, get your 32 ounces of water here in your basin. Once you have your 32 ounces of water, you will add it into your shoebox type container for cleaning. All right. And then you will take your implements that you just pre-cleaned with your soap and water. All right. I have my 32 ounces here. I'm going to add it here. And I've made my barbicide solution. All right. Take your implements and you submerge those in your barber side. All right now, my directions on my barber side says that it has to remain in this solution for 10 full minutes in order for any germs and pathogens to be disinfected. Okay, so. You also need your timer. With your timer, you set your timer for 10 minutes. Okay? So we have our timer set, and you just sit it here as you go on about your other cleaning. You may need to get your towels to take them to the um, laundry to be um, washed and dried. If there are any that are in the dryer, you take those out and fold them. Clean your station, sweep up any hair off of the floor, any of that cleaning that you need to be doing while your implements are in your barber side for the 10 minutes. Okay? Now, the implement is completely immersed and disinfected, um, and the barber side needs to be bacterial cidal, viral cidal, and fungicidal according to the manufacturer's directions. Okay? You want to remove your implements from the disinfectant using your manufacturer's directions. My manufacturer's directions say you should have on gloves or you should use tongs. Today we have on gloves. So our 10 minutes have passed. Turn on the water. We get our implements out of the barber side. We go here and we rinse with warm water. You rinse the disinfectant off. At this point, you will get a clean, dry towel from your cabinet. You will dry your implements. You can lay them down. Make sure that you get them nice and dry. All right. Once you get your implements nice and dry, move that out of the way. Once you get, have your implements nice and dry, you can now store them in a clean, closed container or cabinet. And you want to make sure that there are no other implements in there that have not been disinfected. All right? So I'm going to take my clean implement container here. I'm gonna open it up if I can find the opening. Open it up here. Take my implements, put them in there. Close my container up. My clean implements. I'm gonna put that up. I'm going to clean up my dispensary area, and I am ready for work tomorrow. Thank you. Ready, buddy. Mm -hmm.